Hey there riders, Moto Journo Chris here today and I'm having a look at my Speedy Super Sports Touring Leathers. This is a set of two-piece leathers, so there's a lot of flexibility offered by this particular option and it's quite a premium option without getting into kind of that, you know, designed specifically and tailored specifically for you price range, which does get quite pricey. Now, obviously you can buy very inexpensive leathers, which are, you know, an entry level option. I upgraded from something like that to this, and I've got to say the difference is noticeable. And I think the extra money invested in a proper set of leathers, like a slightly better set of leathers like this, is definitely money well spent if you're serious about doing your track days, even if you're an infrequent track day rider. Uh, because at the end of the day, a set of leathers like this, it's got a very nice Italian 1.2 thickness cow leather, which means it's a lot lighter overall than many of the other leathers that you'll buy, particularly in those cheaper price ranges. Really good level of protection, as well as that, the styling on something like this is gonna be significantly better than the really cheap options, which tend to be a lot baggier and nowhere near as stylish, which, you know, if you're thinking about something like this long-term, which you probably are, leathers tend to last a long, long while. You know, you can crash in them and reuse them. Uh, it's probably worth spending a little bit more money. Now, of course, this particular setup, as I said, Italian cowhide, it's a really nice, stylish, quite a slim fit. Uh, I'm on the slimmer side of things, so it suits me well. I would say I'm longer legged, but shorter torso, and that does mean that the legs are a little bit lower on me than they probably will be on some riders, but the overall fit is really, really good, and I feel like, you know, it, it's a pretty good looking suit. I don't feel like it's super baggy anywhere. Uh, obviously, there's a bit of bag in the ass, but that always tends to be the case. And you've got plenty of armor. You've got armor in the elbows, in the shoulders, in the knees, and of course the hips as well. There's a reinforced bum in it as well, which means if you are sliding along the track or the road on that area, you're gonna have a good amount of abrasion resistance, which of course is leather's real strong point. As far as the comfort side of things, uh, you've got basically some nice areas. I think this is a neoprene or something like that, which is basically right where your right where your wrist is going to be, so that you're not getting any any kind of discomfort there, particularly when you've got a set of gauntlets on over the top of these leathers. Uh, you've got the same on the neck. The Velcro strap across the front here is set down from your chin basically in your neck which means it's not going to cut in when you do put that across which is a nice design feature you've got ykk zips on this as well which is a nice heavy duty zip which is going to do the job long term which again is what you want you've got an almost full length around the waist of the pants and the jacket connecting zip which means that it's a very secure zip there's only only a small area like this where the zip doesn't connect up but I have to say, I feel very secure wearing these as a two-piece suit. The other thing to keep in mind is this is a very breathable suit. It's got these sections here, which are exceptionally breathable. Obviously this isn't leather. It's got some perforated leather sections as well, which again really boosts the level of breathability you get. And in the middle of summer, I've worn this without any problems for a full day. I've been running around taking photos in it as well off the bike. I've got to say the breathability in this is exceptional. I just wear something which is, you know, like a moisture wicking compression wear underneath the leathers because that really does help not only for getting them on and off even though it's got a mesh liner which does make that easier but also for kind of normalizing your temperature and keeping a little bit of warmth in when it's cool and helping basically your sweat evaporate when it's a bit warmer and obviously that's something you're going to do with all leathers but overall really really impressed by this particular speedy super sport touring set of leathers now one of the things i will say is if you're thinking about a two-piece leather suit i think there are some advantages for that there are some disadvantages obviously if you're looking for pure absolute protection and you're a track day junkie and a really high performance rider you might opt for the one-piece suit the two-piece suit i think suits somebody more like me who's you know a very infrequent track day rider, likes to have the protection, wants to have a, a good suit, a comfortable suit, but I can also wear the jacket in summer on its own, which is a really, really good boon because it's not just sitting there in the wardrobe, you know, getting the occasional leather clean. It's actually being used year round because I can chuck this leather jacket on when I want it, or I can wear them both at the same time. Now, as far as price, these are normally $1,500 here in Australia. Uh, at the moment, they're actually on sale on the Speedy Australia website for $8.99, which does make them exceptional value. I would definitely say it's worth the investment over a really cheap set of leathers. Uh, 
generally at the normal price, at that $1,500 price point. And if you're overseas, these are probably going to be cheaper in your currency in a lot of countries, like if you're in America or the UK. Uh, However, here at the moment, being able to pick one of these up for $8.99 is an exceptional value option and something that I definitely recommend checking out if you've got the option to spend that cash at the moment and you're thinking about doing some track day riding or getting just a really nice set of leathers which are gonna last you in the long term. One other thing I will mention is there is no back protector with these leathers. I've got a very simple back protector which I strap on under my gear, which I find really works. I take it with me between jackets and things like that. In a lot of my textile jackets, I just take the really thin back protector out and I just wear mine. That does the job and I'm really happy with that. But you will need to spend a little bit more for a back protector if you're buying these leathers. And it is chest protector ready as well. So just to keep that in mind. The only other thing I will note is that you've only got one pocket on these leathers. It's this pocket on the inside. Obviously, if you're particularly at the track, you don't want to be having a lot of things in pockets because that's going to come between you and the tarmac or the road surface if you do come off. There's only the single pocket on this. It's an enormous pocket though. If you needed to, you could fit, say, mobile phone, wallet and keys all into that pocket. So if you're out riding for the day and you don't have a bag, uh, but obviously having a bag is going to be the better solution so you're not stuffing things inside that pocket. And that basically sits just about here. And as I said, it's an enormous pocket. It's just got a zip there, very secure. I normally just put my wallet in there, make sure I've got my license with me and probably my house keys, and it does the job really, really well. All right, hopefully you can hear me over the Daytona 675. It is pretty loud, but I just wanted to talk about, just for the general riding side of things, because I'm certainly not at the track today, the comfort levels of my Speedy Supersport Touring leathers. And uh, I think one of the real strong points that I found at least with these leathers and these two-piece leathers is the fact that they're very, very comfortable on the bike. Uh, the jacket in particular, I think it's very easy to forget I'm wearing it at all. The airflow is exceptional. It's actually a very chilly winter's morning this morning. Luckily it's sunny, so I'm not freezing, but I could almost do with a windbreak under the jacket or even you know a, a jacket over the top of this however I think the airflow is really important for the warmer months because you be having a lot of fun out on the bike there you can always rug up a little bit more when it's cool whereas you cannot do that if you are overheating there's very few ways of making something cooler realistically speaking uh, so the, the jacket itself, it's nice, it's light, uh, it's a nice, quite a tight cut without being restrictive, so it's a very stylish kind of jacket. On the legs again, it's a nice relatively tailored fit. I think if, you, if you're pretty familiar with leathers, you will of course know that around the bum area they tend to be a bit on the baggy side of course because you're moving around on the bike there and unless you're getting a really tailored to you specifically set of leathers that just tends to be the case uh, but the legs still a good fit uh, I do have skinnier legs pretty much perfect for me nice long zips right down near the boot easy to get on and off as well there's no tightness around the knees I've got my full range of movement Probably the one big thing I do notice wearing these leathers on the bike on my Daytona because I don't have tank grips is the simple fact that I don't have the grip on the tank I would have in jeans uh, and I do really need some, some tank grips because they make a huge difference in leathers. In jeans I find I've got enough kind of traction onto the tank itself for it not to be an issue. So overall, you know, it's almost almost easy to forget I'm wearing the leathers at all on the bike. Great airflow, great comfort, nice stylish fit, nice tight stylish fit as well. Not really baggy and uh, just a great, great piece of kit if you're willing to spend that little bit more and get out of that really basic set of leathers that you get right down at those kind of bottom price ranges. And I would I would definitely say 
it is worth that investment because it's lighter, it's more comfortable, it looks nicer on you, which is, I think for a lot of us, you know, we may not admit it outwardly, but we like to look good in our motorcycle gear. So if you've got any questions at all about Speedy Super Sport Touring two-piece leather suit, just ask in the comments below. I've ridden with this on at track days numerous times. I've done a fair bit of road riding in it as well. Really, really happy. It's a beautiful summer leather jacket when I don't need the pants as well. And at the end of the day, it's something that I'd recommend checking out if you're in the market for leathers, particularly while these are on special here in Australia. So don't forget to like, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts below. As always, sub, hit that notification bell and stay safe out there.